Hi there, and the welcome to Andy Robinson RC. And cheers for checking out the channel today. Thanks for joining us. Okay, so uh, we're back out at Stanley Park in Blackpool, and it's a bit of a frosty morning, as you might have noticed from the ground. And uh, here we are. So, uh, yeah, so if you've seen our previous video, we're out with the Jamara uh, Valiant 2, which is a bit of an unusual buggy. And anyway, we've brought it out for a bit of a run. And so I've come back to Stanley Park because, well, to be honest, I was out filming the other day and I thought that was going to be my only day of filming. I thought the weather was going to turn, but it hasn't. So we've, uh, we've nipped back out to film this. So here we are. So as uh, you've seen it just driving around a bit, the ground is quite hard this morning with it being frosty. So there isn't a, a great deal of traction there. And of course, there's, uh, I've got, there's no ball diff or slipper in this. So that makes it a little bit different. And the tyres are not exactly super soft. Um, but we'll give it a bit more of a run and see what you make of it. Now, since the last video, uh, uh, one of the comments I got, I was told that this was, because uh, I said this had come from Germany originally, because Jamara are German. Now, this was actually originally made in, I think it's Korea or Taiwan that the uh, the um, the viewer sort of commented on. And uh, it was just bought in by Jamara and uh, distributed by them under the Jamara name. Uh, so there's a bit more info on it, but yeah, there is, I say, there is a few variants of this. You've got the Hobby World Cool Racer, you know, you've got the uh, Jamara uh, Valiant 2. Again, they're both, both made by Hobby World, but uh, just dif distributed by different people. Anyway, so that's the buggy, and I said, after looking at more pictures as well, there's a bit, especially around the uh, the chassis there and around the back end, there's a bit of a, a Kayasho uh, Ultima sort of influence going on as well as the TRX-1 by Traxxas and the Academy Griffin Pro. So it is a bit of a, a mixed mash of buggies there and ideas, but they've tried to make obviously their own competitive one-tenth racer. Uh, anyway, I so say we're gonna give it a run, see what you think. Bear in mind the ground is uh, cold and frosty and hard, and the tires probably aren't the best, but we'll, we'll see what it's like. And definitely these shocks, I've said it in the other one, they're not overly great, so whether it's going to soak up the bumps particularly well i don't know so it does definitely need a better set of shocks on this they were awful to to refill and bleed and get set right but so anyway we'll put this down we'll give it a go and uh, we'll see how it's going to run As soon as you dab the throttle too hard, it's, it does want to spin. But, yeah, I mean, it's all right. You know, I don't, I don't think it was ever going to be as good as an RC10 or anything like that, but it, it, it's okay. It does, uh, with it being a longer chassis than a lot of the uh, one-tenth buggies and the front tires being rock hard, it does really want to... Uh, Understeer a bit, especially in fast corners, but uh, I think uh, that could be corrected by the right tyres. Oh, yeah. I've just got a, a 19 turn single in this at the minute, so it's not going to be lightning quick, but it's all right. So, yeah. I'd like to pitch this against my RC 10 B2, which is only uh, a few years later than this coming out. So I might do that at some point. I still need to get the B2 out for you so you can see that running. I've just put a really sonic motor in that. But yeah, but no, this is, this is all right. I would like to run this indoors at the uh, Blackpool Club and see how it gets on. Because uh, we're nearly at the end of the winter series in that. So I might be changing cars. So we'll see, I might run this, I don't know yet. But yeah, it's... Uh, It's running all right, considering uh, how rock hard the ground is. Okay, uh, I didn't want to take it over anything too rough and scratch up the FRP chassis that's on it. I want to make a mess of it. I've got no under tray on it or anything, so... But, yeah, as you can see, it's 
so right this is the same battery i was running in the uh, super Avanta td4 so maybe a little less power in it from running that but you do get the idea i do like it when it's going around i think it looks quite nice actually that body's really growing on me it's quite sleek looking But yeah, so it's uh... right. No, okay. So there you go. That gives you an idea of what it's like out on uh, some ground. Um, I say those shocks definitely need uh, changing over. They're just not that great, and the tyres are letting it down as well. But on the whole, uh, there we go. That is the uh, Jamara. Valiant 2 and it's quite a cool thing it's a bit of a bit of a talking point you don't see many of these about this is the only one I've ever seen um, you know I've never seen one for sale before or anything so uh, yeah and I'm just gonna require me here uh, cleaning it again but yeah so it's still good fun to bring out anyway there you go J um, Jamara Valiant 2 uh, from 1993 hope you like the video uh, cheers for checking it out if uh, you haven't come across the channel before consider subscribing to us we much appreciate for your support also check us out on andy robinson rc on uh, facebook and instagram you'll find us there right okay right i'll uh, see you very soon we've got some more videos coming up all the time and plenty of content on the channel already right look after yourselves take care and we'll see you soon bye